let your hair down to supersize and grow your business. Sharon Horn Austin here. Our idiom for today is let your hair down. This one, of course, it actually dates back to the 16th century, which or the 1600s, which would be the 17th century, the, but the 1600s, which is a lot older than I was aware of. But if I think about it and think about what I know, the little I know about history, it makes sense because back in those days, women wore crazy and elaborate hairdos, sometimes as high as two feet plus above their head. And it took a lot to walk around to carry around with that. And my little bun with a clip, I was going to pull my clip out, but I have no idea what my hair will look like. So I thought I will not. Uh, but that might be better because it'd be crazier, but I don't need to be crazy. Uh, although that's part of what this idiom is about is being yourself, being free, being unhindered and uninhibited to show up in ways that bring you joy and make you feel happy. And that ties into our topic of this year's annual challenge, the Get Your Goals Annual Challenge. We're talking about pleasure and emotional well-being, how those are interconnected. Yesterday we talked about pains. We're doing just the opposite today. So what does this have to do with growing and building and supersizing our businesses? How do you enjoy yourself? And how you show up in your business definitely impacts the other people in your organization. Uh, but my three favorite ways to think about this idiom with respect to growing and building and supersizing my businesses is, number one, the importance of being myself. Being yourself uh, is the best way to actually enjoy yourself, right? Enjoy yourself every day. If you're putting on veils and, and masks and pretending to be somebody else and pretending and acting in ways you think you should act instead of what feels right and natural to you, then you're not having your best time ever as you're building and growing your business. And part of why we grow and start and create and build our own business is because we want to create something different in the world, something that feels right and good to us. Number two, um, I do things I love. I do and focus on my strengths and the things that I'm good at and I love to do in my business. And I get other people to do the other things, right? The thing is, there's always things that have to be done, but I don't like to do them. And I learned a long time ago, I don't have to be the one that does them because things I don't like to do or I'm not good at, other people love to do and are awesome at. And then third, I like to celebrate with people in my organizations and people in my life. I like to celebrate our wins and you know we learn from our mistakes and we use those as stepping stones, but I like to celebrate with the people that make our business and our, our dreams come true and make our dreams possible because we seldom do things in a vacuum. We almost always need people's help. We at least need our customers help, right? I like to celebrate with my customers as well. So those are my three favorite ways to let my hair down. Oh, be honest, I'm a, a nerdy engineer. I don't let my hair down very often. Now I let my hair down playing with my granddaughters, but that's about it. So share in the comments below, what is your favorite way to let your hair down uh, with your business as you're building and growing your business? And then go out and make it an awesome day. Celebrate, be yourself, and do what feels good for you and your business. And that will create the ripple effect and the good that we want to see in the world. Have an awesome day. I'll be with you tomorrow. Bye.